Um, obviously a tough one last week. Uh, didn't think we um, – uh, first of all, give all the credit to Tarleton State. They did a great job. Um, they outplayed us. Uh, was not pleased with how we played. I think Tarleton had a lot to do with that. But um, we didn't play like uh, we feel like we can. And that was um, tough Friday, Saturday, Sunday around here. Um, but I thought we bounced back and had a – we had good meetings on Friday. Um, we gave our, our players off this weekend. They needed it. Um, long bus trip back. Um, took a lot out of us. But we had a good practice yesterday. And um, – I like our attitudes um, going into this one. It's going to be a very tough game, but, um, you know, first time since we've lost an opener since I've been here, and that was tough. But um, you learn from everything, and, uh, you know, we, we got to learn. And that's uh, that was the, the message on Friday is learn from our mistakes. Um, you know, we, that ball game was a close ball game for a long time in the first half, and right before half they kind of blew it open. and. Uh, we came out in the second half, moved the ball a little bit, but couldn't couldn't get anything going uh, as far as points and couldn't sustain drives. And uh, we were one of 15 on third downs, which is not good at all. Uh, any level of football, we we threw two interceptions for touchdowns. Um, you know, we had a lot of things break down on those two plays. Uh, we didn't tackle well in the third quarter at all. They ran the ball at us and, and uh, imposed their will on us a little bit. And we were in a lot of things we can learn from on the tape. We kept fighting. I was proud of that. But um, no rest for us. We got to get ready to go against a, a really good, really good football team. Maybe the best football team we've played since I've been here. Um, on, on paper, on tape, they look really good, extremely well coached. Um, a lot of size, a lot of speed. Just um, uh, they're the number eight ranked team in the country for a reason. Um, they're really good. and. It's going to be a heck of a challenge on Saturday night. We need everybody out. We need as much home field advantage as we can get. And uh, we're going to have to play really, really well. Offensively, when you talk about moving the ball, tackling, you didn't really finish. Is there anything that you can maybe attribute that to as a whole? Um, you know, I, I think it's um, – <coughs> I, I don't know. I think sometimes, um, you know, this game is still mental, um, very – very much a mental game, just like most sports are. And, uh, you know, it was 6 nothing, and we got the ball down there first and goal at the four, and we get two penalties in the next four plays and um, go for it on fourth and two, which I thought that was a good call because if we don't get it, our defense has got them backed up. We got a good defense, feel good about them, feel good about the way they were playing uh, at that time. And um, we score, get another penalty. Uh, so, I think it kind of maybe messes with you a little bit mentally. You know, if you punch that one in, do you keep going back? You kind of get a feel for the end zone. And um, But to our kids' credit, we, we kept fighting the whole game. We finally got one in the end zone late. Um, so that was good. But uh, we, we know we got to definitely uh, finish drives, and, and that's going to be a big key this week. When you talk about the penalties, do you think maybe it was first game jitters, wrinkling out some things, or is it, you know, are those things you can Oh, there's no doubt. I mean, those are self-inflicted wounds. I mean, um, we can improve all those things. We can improve how we block, how we tackle, penalties, um, substitution errors. Um, you know, we had 12 men on the field one time because uh, we got a guy that's hurt, um, you know, and he, he's trying to get off, and they're tempoing us up, and we're young, and it's just a freak deal. The, the uh, His backup goes on as he's coming off. we got 12 men on the field, you know, so um, – just things like that uh, that, that I think you can look at that and say that doesn't need to happen again. We'll address it. Um, but, uh, yeah, everything's, everything's correctable. You talked last week about seeing how the guys handled Friday. You said yeah. they were feeling good early. Then what were your impressions? Well, I mean, we got back in at 9 o'clock Friday morning, um, 8.45, and a lot of them, I mean, they just turned and went straight to class. Uh, hadn't hadn't slept much at all. Some of them slept on the bus. Uh, I didn't, coaches, we, we, it was struggle to sleep a little bit, especially when you're still upset about everything that went wrong. And I just couldn't wait to get in here and watch the tape along with the rest of the coaching staff. But they came back over here. Some of them had two, three hours of sleep. They came back over here Friday afternoon and, and they brought their notepads and they were locked in and 
I thought we had great meetings. We had an unbelievable weight workout uh, session, and the pool workout was was good as well. Um, and I felt like uh, that has carried over into yesterday's practice. Um, you know, I felt like we had a good practice yesterday um, for the first day of the week. We thought it was fairly sharp, fairly competitive. Now the key is going to be, can we do it two days in a row? That's been a Achilles heel with this team so far is you have a you have a decent day can you come back and have another decent day and that's what it takes to get better and right now just to be honest y'all that's all we're worried about I mean you can sit here and worry about Grand Valley till you're blue in the face I mean there's a lot to worry about but it's about our football team taking the steps it needs to get better and realizing that this season is a marathon not a sprint you know I think um, you get beat you got to pick your ball up and you got to go get better and figure out what you're going to do the next week to get better and try to get a win. That's all you can do. And uh, you can't look ahead till Saturday. You just got to stay in the moment. And right now, the most important thing is coming up this afternoon at practice. Two running backs on the out there for action. Malcolm Shirley, Bobby Evans. Just kind of talk about what you saw from them. Well, it doesn't really matter on Malcolm Shirley because he quit yesterday. Um, but I thought Malcolm Shirley did some good things. I thought Kevin Wilson did some good things. And we got to get Trey Roberson involved as well. Um, so I don't really want to comment on somebody that's not here anymore. He quit yesterday. So, But I was proud of Robbie, proud of the way he ran. I was proud of uh, the, the job Keelan did when he got in there. And um, I thought our running backs had a great practice yesterday. So I'm excited about that. Can Tyson do a practice shootout that you did? I thought he did a really good job. I mean, he, you know, his first play, he, he, he kind of laid Benji out. Um, but that's tough, you know, it's his first college football play, you know, on the road. and We're calling a play action wheel route down the sideline, and, and it was open. He had to back shoulder him. He didn't. Uh, Benji made a great play. Um, got um, a pretty big hit on that play, which I felt like was targeting. Uh, I really don't know the definition of targeting anymore. But anyway, um, he bounced, you know, throws an interception, which really uh, a lot of things went bad in that play. The route was not really good. The protection was not really good. Similar to what happened to Breck on his interception. But um, so your second pass, you throw a pick six. You know that's. Um, but for him to bounce back, and I think he was like seven for nine or something like that. Or you know, I, I thought he did pretty well. Um, I'm excited about him. We all are. Um, he's young. He's still learning, but he's very smart. He's he's very poised and he's very smooth. And uh, we like that about Patrick. And I like the way that he's preparing every day. Fit better. Just just do what your coach do and fit better. Um, and uh, obviously tackle. I mean, you know, the guy makes a great play on us, and, and we're not wrapping up. We're trying to bring the lumber, which I appreciate. I like the physicality of us, you know. But we got to get some guys. Got to get them on the ground. Um, cut down on the on the middle areas and the loafs. Thought at times we loafed a little bit. Got a little tired. We're out there a lot, you know, but. Two reasons for that. Number one, I don't think we were making enough first downs offensively. Number two, we weren't getting stops. You know, um, Coach Partridge and them be the first to tell you. If you, you know, it, it go. You got to play complimentary football. And we understand that, but I mean, defense stopping to get off field. You know, and it didn't happen at times in that third quarter, especially. But when we fit right, when we're pretty good, when we don't do things right, we're it's all what can happen. I mean, we're not like anybody else in the country. We're not um, to the point where we. I mean, everybody's got to do what their coach to do and uh, we got guys that, that are that are doing that at times but then you get a little tired get a new environment and you make mistakes and that's why you learn from it and that's that's what we're trying to do this week what does Grand Valley do well defensively oh they 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 uh, do a lot of things well they 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 can get pressure with their front four which is always scary um, they they pressure every now and then but they don't have to uh, they got a really good front four uh, they tackle well. They got a lot of size. They defeat blocks well. They cover well. So, pretty much do it well. You know, uh, thought they thought they did a great job the other night. I think they only played 57 snaps of defense, so they kept them fresh. Um, D line were able to rotate in and out. Uh, they 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 forced the tempo on Indianapolis. Uh, they 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 basically inflicted their will upon Indianapolis, and that's what happened. Um, we can't we can't allow that to happen to us this week. So that's the that's why you practice, and that's why you try to get better, and that's why these coaches are trying to put us in the right situations to make get our guys to make plays, and that's that's what the goal is for this week.
Coach, for a fan base, for the Delta State fan base that may not be too familiar with Grand Valley, is there a GSC team that you could say Grand Valley looks or plays like this team? Mm. You know, I, a lot of people play good defense in this league, you know. Um, offensively, they're going to throw it around a little bit, maybe like West Alabama. Uh, you know, uh, West Alabama can really throw the football. I mean, could a year ago, you know. I haven't looked at any stats this year or anything, but I imagine that quarterback back they can still throw the football. Um, you know, they're a four down front. We've got a lot of good four down fronts in this, in this league. Uh, West Georgia's traditionally been a great four-down front team. Um, Valdosta can get in a four-down front and get after you as well. Um, you know, and, and they'll sprinkle in some three-down fronts, just like West Alabama will, just like Valdosta will. Um, but I think they're probably a bigger football team than what we're accustomed to playing against, you know, down here. Um, so I don't, I don't really know. I mean, there's some similarities, but I wouldn't say, hey, this team is like so and so. Uh, like I said, I think. This team coming in here might be the best team we've ever faced since I've been here. So, uh, how do you compare it to somebody? I don't know if you can. Thank you. Thank y'all.